Hello everyone, it's Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda and I'm here with a, another craft with me. Let's make part three of the Happiness and Baking Journal. So we've made the cover in part one. Um, then in part two, we added this pocket for the front and back. And we also hinged some fine chocolate, delicious and decadent recipe pages. So I went ahead and I did two with you and two off camera. I put two in each of the two signatures. Um, I added the paper bag, which I uh, cut the ends off of. So it was open on both sides. I did find my book that I used. This is a Dollar Tree book that I think I got it last year at Dollar Tree, but they probably still have it or have something similar that you can get. But it's a nice big book and it has a lot of great recipes and some really nice um, illustrations. So go to Dollar Tree and check that out. See what you can find for your baking journal. And today we're going to <clears throat> finish up preparing the two signatures and sew it in the book. And because this is a start to finish, I'm going to do this on camera so that you can craft along. And sometimes I cut the pages down so that they're all even. And then other times I don't think it really matters, especially because I add trims and ruffles to some of the edges anyway, but um, I don't know if I'm going to do that with this one. If I'm going to trim it down. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I don't think it's going to really affect anything. So yeah, I might as well do that. So what I normally do is, and I'm going to be making a little bit of a banging sound, so turn your volume down if you don't want to hear it, but I find the center, I put my ruler in, I hold it at the top, and then I bang it down so that I get all the pages evenly to the bottom. Still doesn't look like it's enough on the ends here. And if you don't get them as close to the end as you can, uh, what happens is then you're, when you sew in your signatures, they can be a little rocky and uneven. So it's really important that you do that. And then I just take a very sharp, you need to be careful because if you're not using a sharp newish blade, <clears throat> then the blade will just drag through and rip your, the ends of your pages. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you do need to make sure that you're using a good sharp blade. And I just changed this the other day, so it's still good, I think. And then I just slowly cut the pages down. Sometimes you need to go really slow so that you don't get these type of cuts, which can lead to tearing sometimes. So just take your time. And then you'll end up with nice edges. They are kind of raggedy looking a little bit, but you know what? It's a junk journal and it's okay. So that's one. Signature done. Now do the next one. I hope everyone's doing well today. We're having really chilly, rainy weather. I am in BC, but luckily 
we don't have the flooding but what we do have is a rumor going around that we're going to run out of gas gasoline petrol so um the people here are going crazy and there's like a two hour wait for gas and the lines are like blocking the highways it's just totally ridiculous um I wonder if it's really a rumor or if it's true, but yeah. My husband has a little bit of a commute and needs to drive to work every day. So, of course, he needs to get gas. And I think he needs to get gas now or soon. And he's got to deal with these backups. And he's not happy about that. And I wouldn't be either. Kind of reminds me of when I was... I think I was a preteen when we had in uh, Maryland, we had a real gas shortage. It was during the I Iraqi Iran issues with Saddam Hussein, I think. Anyway, I won't get into the political part, but we ha I remember there was a true shortage and I remember the lines and I remember sitting in the car while my parents were trying to fill up with gas and yeah it was not a fun time i really don't want to see those times again i'm not sure why there would be a gas shortage right now i don't know if it has to do with the summit climate change meeting or I don't know yeah kind of made it raggedy but um I've done a few other journals in the past where it did that when I cut down the pages and really once you get your journal in and you start putting your trims and everything don't even notice it It is a little strangely jaggedy. Okay. That should be okay. And now that I've probably gotten my alignment out of whack, with the sewing in of signatures, now I need to do this again. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. This one, too. All right. So I've got my two signatures together. And now I'm going to sew in the signatures. And I'm going to make a template so that I know where to make my holes. And we had, I think it was two and one and three quarter inch spine, I think. Um, So I will fold my paper and I'm going to make my template just under the size of my spine. Let's see how this works. I keep forgetting to mark the top when I do these videos I'm gonna do it right now so you want to mark the top because you want to always have your um, template top side up when you make your holes and then I'm just checking to make sure that it sits nicely 
inside and it looks like it needs to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to cut it down okay let's check this sits nicely at least it does in the top I think it's a little crooked there so I'm gonna try to straighten it up with my paper trimmer should be better. It's a little bit too small, but I'm going to make it work. I'm just going to center it within. And then um, you want it to be the length of your <clears throat> the length of your book. going to fold it in half lengthwise and then fold it in half again and I'm going to fold it this way to make the middle and then Fold it this way so we have another mark for the third hole second and third first and third hole and then um, so we see where our folds are This is going to be the middle. I lost my top. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I have to open it up. <laughs> All right. So then you open it up. There's my top. Here's my middle. And then we want to decide where we want our two signatures. I think probably where these meet. They can be this far apart. Yeah. We want to put it where the folds intersect. It's 
it's better if you draw your lines after you fold it but I get lazy and don't do that but there so you got your three holes you're going to use the middle one for your signatures and you're going to use the two outside ones for your book let me get my book binding book my clips okay so you want to line your template up so it's in the middle of where your spine is and also it's centered top and bottom how you would like your Signatures positioned. I think that's good. Then you're going to take your awl and we're just going to do two holes for the two signatures. Okay, then I usually go back through, this has a lot of layers here to go through, to make sure that I can see the hole really well. This is not going to be easy, but I'll show you what we'll do. It's going to be hard with this pattern material. We won't be able to see the hole, but I'll show you what we'll do. Okay. So we got the holes in the book and now we're going to do the holes in the signatures. First thing I'm going to do with the signatures is I'm going to put clips to hold my pages together. Find the center. And make sure your pages are all lined up and how you'd like them. I'm going to make sure this is in the middle because that's where I want it. You don't have to put your bag in the middle. But all the other pages look okay. There's my middle. Put clips. Make sure it's the top side up. I uh, line up my template so it's even. Punch through the middle. Middle hole. Okay. So we got our 
three holes. That looks good. Now we'll do the same thing for this one. Find the middle. Make sure our pages are how we'd like them. Paper clip them. And don't forget, tomorrow is going to be the drawing for the giveaway. So make sure you have commented um, everything that is required to enter the giveaway in the giveaway video. And then make sure you come back tomorrow for the giveaway video where I will be announcing the winner. So I'm putting the top at the top, making sure the template is even within the inside. Oh, there it is. Making sure I'm in frame for you. Okay. We got our holes. Looks good. And now we'll try to sew in our signatures. I'm going to use this um, cream yarn or string. I think it's for crochet or embroidery and other crafts and I get it at Dollarama. You will either want three lengths of your book or you can just sew it um, without cutting it and I'll show you. Lately I've been doing it that way so I'll just show you how I do it without cutting it. I try not to use too big of a an eye because it makes the hole bigger in your signatures. But then sometimes it's hard for me to get a needle to thread. So let's try a different one. I think this one will be okay even though it's big. For video purposes, I don't want to keep you here forever just trying to thread my needle. But I like to use a good thread. I do have wax threaded as well, um, which is easier to thread. But I do like the look of this, this thread. So, or string. I don't know why I can't get it to thread all right there we go okay so we're gonna go in through the middle in through the middle hole in the book give myself enough string here um, it's gonna be hard for me like I said to find the hole to go through so I'm going to try it this way There we go. And go through the bottom one here. Then 
in through the top and the top of the book. Back through the middle. Yeah, this quilted material is not the easiest. Just have to fiddle with it until you find exactly where there. So just play with it. Make sure that you don't split when you're coming through. That's why I like to use a dull needle okay and what did I do here okay something didn't work right Okay, guys, I've never done that before. Let's try that again. That's so strange. This is why people don't like to sew <laughs> on camera. I never do this. I never make mistakes like this when I do it off camera. Okay, let's see. Did that work? I don't know what that was all about, guys, but it appears to be okay now. So now I just want to make sure my strings are tight. That was weird, guys. I don't know what happened there. That was super duper weird. So you want to do this and make sure it's not loose, which it is, but um, I'm going to go on either side of the middle string. want to make sure that it's really good and tight. And then tie a double knot. enough if I think I might be adding some beads, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to leave it long. Then what I do is I clip it together so it doesn't get in the way. And let's see if we can do this one a little easier. <laughs> uh, so funny. If it goes wrong on video. 
And honestly, I don't have a hard time threading my needle either when I'm not on video. But I think it, it might be the angle standing up and looking down. Sorry, I'm off screen, but I'm just going to try to get this threaded. You can use a little bit of glue on the end, which I'm going to try at this point because I'm getting impatient. to make it stiffer and so it doesn't separate. Yeah, try that at home. That definitely makes it easier. Okay, let's try this again, guys. In through the middle. Sewing in your signatures is a little nerve wracking, but I think it's also really exciting because I love getting my signatures in. Okay, this hole is going to be hard to find. Um, and I sew my, I usually sew my signatures in first before I decorate because the very first journal I made. I decorated the signatures first and then um, when I went to sew in my signatures they were too thick and bulky and it was really hard to sew my signatures in so the next time I tried it uh, without um, decorating first sewing in the signatures first and made it so much easier for me so it's just my personal preference, but you can do it whatever way works best for you. And that one went that one went right in as it should. And I didn't split anything, which is good. And this is usually how my sewing in signatures goes. It usually goes really smoothly. So you're going to put your strings one on either side. To check it to make sure it's nice and firmly sewn in there. You don't want your signatures moving around. That looks like for a really bad sloppy journal. I like to have my signatures in really good and tightly. Okay, take your clips off. my needles away all right so let's have a look let's see how our journal is looking it feels really good in the hand I'm really loving it then you're gonna want to um, open up all your pages you want to break them in so that they lay nice and see how nice and flat this lays that's because I did a big enough spine and I put my signatures wider apart. So it lays really nice and flat for journaling. I need to add some more glue here. So yep, that's what you're going to do. I'm going to go through and make sure all your pages are sewn in properly. And there you have it. So I hope you're following along and having a good time with this 
um, series. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And uh, be sure to tune back in to my channel tomorrow for the giveaway and also for the part four of making a journal from start to finish. Thank you, friends. Bye.